Chios, Greek, Chios, Chios, Greek pronunciation, Cisadilla Ios, is the fifth largest of the Greek islands, situated in the Aegean Sea, 7 kilometers (4.3 miles) off the Anatolian coast. The island is separated from Turkey by the Chios Strait. Chios is notable for its exports of mastic gum, and its nickname is the Mastic Island. Tourist attractions include its medieval villages and the 11th-century monastery of Nea Moni, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Administratively, the island forms a separate municipality within the Chios Regional Unit, which is part of the North Aegean region. The principal town of the island and seat of the municipality is Chios. Locals refer to Chios town as Kora. Kora literally means land or country, but usually refers to the capital or a settlement at the highest point of a Greek island. It was also the site of the Chios massacre in which tens of thousands of Greeks on the island were killed by Ottoman troops during the Greek War of Independence in 1822. Geography <inaudible> 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 Chios Island is crescent or kidney shaped, 50 kilometers (31 miles) long from north to south and 29 kilometers (18 miles) at its widest, covering an area of 842.289 square kilometers (325.210 square miles). The terrain is mountainous and arid, with a ridge of mountains running the length of the island. The two largest of these mountains, Pelinian (1,297 meters, 4,255 feet) and Epios (1,188 meters, 3,898 feet), are situated in the north of the island. The center of the island is divided between east and west by a range of smaller peaks, known as provadas. Topic: Regions. Chios can be divided into five regions <inaudible> East coast Midway up the east coast lie the main population centers, the main town of Chios, and the regions of Rentados and Cambos. Chios town, with a population of 32,400, is built around the island's main harbor and medieval castle. The current castle, with a perimeter of 1,400 meters (4,600 feet), was principally constructed during the time of Venetian and Ottoman rule. Although remains have been found dating settlements there back to 2000 BC, the town was substantially damaged by an earthquake in 1881 and only partially retains its original character. North of Chios town lies the large suburb of Rentados, population 4,500, which claims to be the birthplace of Homer. The suburb lies in the Omarupoli municipality, and its connection to the poet is supported by an archaeological site known traditionally as Teacher's Rock. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Southern region, Mastichokoria. In the southern region of the island are the Mastichokoria, literally Mastic villages. The seven villages of Mesta, Mesta Pyrgi, Pyrgi Olympi, Olympoi Kalamoti, Kalamot Vesa, Vesa Lithi, Lithi and Ilata, Ilata which together have controlled the production of mastic gum in the area since the Roman period. The villages, built between the 14th and 16th centuries, have a carefully designed layout with fortified gates and narrow streets to protect against the frequent raids by marauding pirates. Between Chios town and the Mastichokoria lie a large number of historic villages including Armolia, Armolia Mermigi, Mermenki and Kalamashia. Kalamashia. Along the east coast are the fishing villages of Cataractes Cataracts and to the south, Nanita. Topic. Interior Directly in the center of the island, between the villages of Avgonima to the west and Caris to the east, is the 11th century monastery of Nea Moni, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The monastery was built with funds given by the Byzantine Emperor Constantine IX, after three monks, living in caves nearby, had petitioned him while he was in exile on the island of Mytilene. The monastery had substantial estates attached, with a thriving community until the massacre of 1822. It was further damaged during the 1881 earthquake. In 1952, due to the shortage of monks, Nea Moni was converted to a convent. Topic: <laughs> Climate. The island's climate is warm and moderate, categorized as temperate Mediterranean (CSA), with modest variation due to the stabilizing effect of the surrounding sea. 
Average temperatures normally range from a summer high of 27 degrees Celsius (81 degrees Fahrenheit) to a winter low of 11 degrees Celsius (52 degrees Fahrenheit) in January, although temperatures of over 40 degrees Celsius (104 degrees Fahrenheit) or below freezing can sometimes be encountered. The island normally experiences steady breezes, average 3 to 5 meters per second (6.7 to 11.2 miles per hour) throughout the year, with wind direction predominantly northerly. Etesian wind, locally called the Meltemi or southwesterly Sirocco. Topic: <laughs> Geology. The Chios Basin is a hydrographic sub-unit of the Aegean Sea adjacent to the island of Chios. History Etymology Known as Afiusa, Afiusa, Snake Island, and Pitusa, Pitusa, Pine Tree Island. In antiquity, during the later Middle Ages the island was ruled by a number of non-Greek powers and was known as Sio Genoese, Chio Italian, and Sakas — Sakis Ottoman Turkish. The capital during that time was Castron, Castron, Castle. Topic: <laughs> Prehistoric period. Archaeological research on Chios has found evidence of habitation dating back at least to the Neolithic era. The primary sites of research for this period have been cave dwellings at Hagio N. Galas in the north and a settlement and accompanying necropolis in modern-day Emporio at the far south of the island. Scholars lack information on this period. The size and duration of these settlements have therefore not been well established. The British school at Athens under the direction of Sinclair Hood excavated the Emporio site in 1952–1955, and most current information comes from these digs. The Greek Archaeological Service has also been excavating periodically on Chios since 1970, though much of its work on the island remains unpublished. The noticeable uniformity in the size of houses at Emporio leads some scholars to believe that there may have been little social distinction during the Neolithic era on the island. The inhabitants apparently all benefited from agricultural and livestock farming. It is also widely held by scholars that the island was not occupied by humans during the Middle Bronze Age, though researchers have recently suggested that the lack of evidence from this period may only demonstrate the lack of excavations on Chios and the northern Aegean. By at least the 11th century BC the island was ruled by a monarchy, and the subsequent transition to aristocratic or possibly tyrannic rule occurred sometime over the next four centuries. Future excavations may reveal more information about this period. 9th century Euboean and Cypriot presence on the island is attested by ceramics, while a Phoenician presence is noted at Erythrae, the traditional competitor of Chios on the mainland. Archaic and Classical periods Pharisides, native to the Aegean, wrote that the island was occupied by the Lelages, Aboriginal Greeks who were reported to be subjected to the Minoans on Crete. They were eventually driven out by invading Ionians. Chios was one of the original twelve member states of the Ionian League. As a result, Chios, at the end of the 7th century BC, was one of the first cities to strike or mint coins, establishing the Sphinx as its symbol. It maintained this tradition for almost 900 years. In the 6th century BC, Chios government adopted a constitution similar to that developed by Solon in Athens and later developed democratic elements with a voting assembly and people's magistrates called Demarchoi. In 546 BC, Chios was subjected to the Persian Empire. Chios joined the Ionian Revolt against the Persians in 499 BC. The naval power of Chios during this period is demonstrated by the fact that the Chians had the largest fleet 100 ships of all of the Ionians at the Battle of Lade in 494 BC. At Lade, the Chian fleet doggedly continued to fight the Persian fleet even after the defection of the Samians and others, but the Chians were ultimately forced to retreat and were again subjected to Persian domination. The defeat of Persia at the Battle of Mycale in 479 BC meant the liberation of Chios from Persian rule. 
When the Athenians formed the Delian League, Chios joined as one of the few members who did not have to pay tribute but who supplied ships to the alliance. By the 5th to 4th centuries BC, the island had grown to an estimated population of over 120,000, two to three times the estimated population in 2005, based on the huge necropolis at the main city of Chios. It is thought that the majority of the population lived in that area. In 412 BC, during the Peloponnesian War, Chios revolted against Athens, and the Athenians besieged it. Relief only came the following year when the Spartans were able to raise the siege. In the 4th century BC, Chios was a member of the Second Athenian League but revolted against Athens during the Social War 357-355 BC, and Chios became independent again until the rise of Macedonia. Topic. Hellenistic period Theopompus returned to Chios with the other exiles in 333 BC after Alexander had invaded Asia Minor and decreed their return, as well as the exile or trial of Persian supporters on the island. Theopompus was exiled again some time after Alexander's death and took refuge in Egypt. During this period, the island also had become the largest exporter of Greek wine, which was noted for being of relatively high quality. C. Chian wine. Chian amphoras, with a characteristic sphinx emblem and bunches of grapes, have been found in nearly every country with whom the ancient Greeks traded. These countries included Gaul, Upper Egypt, and Southern Russia. Topic: <laughs> Roman period. During the Third Macedonian War, 35 vessels allied to Rome, carrying about 1,000 Galatian troops, as well as a number of horses, were sent by Eumenes II to his brother Attalus. Leaving from Alea, they were headed to the harbour of Phanai, planning to disembark from there to Macedonia. However, Perseus's naval commander Antinor intercepted the fleet between Erythrae and Chios. According to Livy, they were caught completely off guard by Antinor. Eumens's officers at first thought the intercepting fleet were friendly Romans, but scattered upon realizing they were facing an attack by their Macedonian enemy, some choosing to abandon ship and swim to Erythrae. Others, crashing their ships into land on Chios, fled toward the city. The Chians however closed their gates, startled at the calamity. And the Macedonians, who had docked closer to the city anyway, cut the rest of the fleet off outside the city gates, and on the road leading to the city. Of the 1,000 men, 800 were killed, 200 taken prisoner. After the Roman conquest Chios became part of the province of Asia. Pliny remarks upon the islanders' use of variegated marble in their buildings, and their appreciation for such stone above murals or other forms of artificial decoration. According to the Acts of the Apostles, Luke the Evangelist, Paul the Apostle and their companions passed Chios during Paul's third missionary journey, on a passage from Lesbos to Samos. Topic. Byzantine period After the permanent division of the Roman Empire in 395 AD, Chios was for six centuries part of the Byzantine Empire. This came to an end when the island was briefly held 1090 by Zaches, a Turkish bay in the region of Smyrna during the first expansion of the Turks to the Aegean coast. However, the Turks were driven back from the Aegean coast by the Byzantines aided by the First Crusade, and the island was restored to Byzantine rule by Admiral Constantine Dalasinos. This relative stability was ended by the sacking of Constantinople by the Fourth Crusade 1204, and during the turmoil of the 13th century the island's ownership was constantly affected by the regional power struggles. After the Fourth Crusade, the Byzantine Empire was divided up by the Latin emperors of Constantinople, with Chios nominally becoming a possession of the Republic of Venice. However, defeats for the Latin Empire resulted in the island reverting to Byzantine rule in 1225. Topic: <inaudible> Genoese period (1304–1566). The Byzantine rulers had little influence and through the Treaty of Nymphium, authority was ceded to the Republic of Genoa 1261. At this time the island was frequently attacked by pirates, and by 1302–1303 was a target for the renewed Turkish fleets. To prevent Turkish expansion, the island was reconquered and kept as a renewable concession, at the behest of the Byzantine emperor Andronicus II Paleologus, by the Genovese Benedetto I Zaccaria, then admiral to Philip of France. 
Zakaria installed himself as ruler of the island, founding the short-lived lordship of Chios. His rule was benign and effective control remained in the hands of the local Greek landowners. Benedetto Zakaria was followed by his son Paleologo and then his grandsons or nephews Benedetto II and Martino. They attempted to turn the island towards the Latin and Papal powers, and away from the predominant Byzantine influence. The locals, still loyal to the Byzantine Empire, responded to a letter from the Emperor and, despite a standing army of a thousand infantrymen, a hundred cavalrymen and two galleys, expelled the Zakaria family from the island 1329 and dissolved the fiefdom. Local rule was brief. In 1346, a chartered company or mauna, the mauna di Cio e di Focia, was set up in Genoa to reconquer and exploit Chios and the neighboring town of Phocaea in Asia Minor. Although the islanders firmly rejected an initial offer of protection, the island was invaded by a Genoese fleet, led by Simone Vignoso, and the castle besieged. Again rule was transferred peacefully, as on 12 September the castle was surrendered and a treaty signed with no loss of privileges to the local landowners as long as the new authority was accepted. The Genoese, being interested in profit rather than conquest, controlled the trade posts and warehouses, in particular the trade of mastic, alum, salt and pitch. Other trades such as grain, wine oil and cloth and most professions were run jointly with the locals. After a failed uprising in 1347, and being heavily outnumbered less than 10% of the population in 1395, the Latins maintained light control over the local population, remaining largely in the town and allowing full religious freedom. In this way the island remained under Genoese control for two centuries. By 1566, when Genoa lost Chios to the Ottoman Empire, there were 12.000 Greeks and 2.500 Genoese or 17% of the total population in the island. Topic. Ottoman period During Ottoman rule, the government and tax gathering again remained in the hands of Greeks and the Turkish garrison was small and inconspicuous, as well as the Latin and Turkish influx. Documents record a small Jewish population from at least 1049 AD. The original Greek Jews, thought to have been brought over by the Romans, were later joined by Sephardic Jews welcomed by the Ottomans during the Iberian expulsions of the 15th century. The mainstay of the island's famous wealth was the mastic crop. Chios was able to make a substantial contribution to the imperial treasury while at the same time maintaining only a light level of taxation. The Ottoman government regarded it as one of the most valuable provinces of the empire. Topic. Modern period When the Greek War of Independence broke out, the island's leaders were reluctant to join the revolutionaries, fearing the loss of their security and prosperity. However, in March 1822, several hundred armed Greeks from the neighboring island of Samos landed in Chios. They proclaimed the revolution and launched attacks against the Turks, at which point islanders decided to join the struggle. Ottomans landed a large force on the island consequently and put down the rebellion. The Ottoman massacre of Chios expelled, killed, or enslaved the inhabitants of the island. It wiped out whole villages and affected the Mastichokoria area, the mastic growing villages in the south of the island. It triggered negative public reaction in Western Europe, as portrayed by Eugene Delacroix, and in the writing of Lord Byron and Victor Hugo. In 1881, an earthquake, estimated as 6.5 on the moment magnitude scale, damaged a large portion of the island's buildings and resulted in great loss of life. Reports of the time spoke of 5,500 to 10,000 fatalities. Meanwhile, Chios during this time emerges as the motherland of the modern Greek shipping industry. Indicatively, in 1764, Chios had six vessels with 90 sailors on record. In 1875, there were 104 ships with over 60,000 registered tons. In 1889, were recorded 440 sailing ships of various types with 3,050 sailors. The dynamic development of Chian shipping in the 19th century is further attested by the various shipping-related services that were present in the island during this time, such as the creation of the shipping insurance companies Chiaki Thalsaploya, Chiaki Thalassaploya Dyo Adolfe, Dio Adolfi Omanoya, Omanoya the shipping bank Archangelos, Archangelos 1863. The boom of Chian shipping took place with the successful transition from sailing vessels to steam. 
To this end, Qian ship owners were supported by the strong diaspora presence of Qian merchants, the connections they had developed with the financing centres of the time Istanbul, London, the establishment in London of shipping businessmen, the creation of shipping academies in Chios and the expertise of Qian personnel on board. Chios rejoined the rest of independent Greece after the First Balkan War 1912. The Greek Navy liberated Chios in November 1912 in a hard-fought but brief amphibious operation. The Ottoman Empire recognized Greece's annexation of Chios and the other Aegean islands by the Treaty of London 1913. Although Greece was officially neutral, the island was occupied by the British during World War I. They landed on 17 February 1916. This may have been due to the island's proximity to the Ottoman Empire and the city of Izmir in particular. It was affected by the population exchanges after the Greco Turkish War of 1919 1922, with the incoming Greek refugees settling in Castro previously Turkish and in new settlements hurriedly built south of Chios town. The island saw some local violence during the Greek Civil War, setting neighbor against neighbor. This ended when the final band of communist fighters was trapped and killed in the orchards of Cambos and their bodies driven through the main town on the back of a truck. In March 1948, the island was used as an internment camp for female political detainees communists or relatives of guerrillas and their children, who were housed in military barracks near the town of Chios. Up to 1,300 women and 50 children were housed in cramped and degrading conditions, until March 1949 when the camp was closed and the inhabitants moved to Trikari. The production of mastic was threatened by the Chios forest fire that swept the southern half of the island in August 2012 and destroyed some mastic groves. <laughs> Demographics According to the 2011 census, Chios has a permanent resident population of 52,674. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Government. The present municipality Chios was formed at the 2011 local government reform by the merger of the following eight former municipalities that became municipal units: Agios Minas, Amani. Chios town, Ionia, Campokora, Cardamila, Mastichokoria, Omarupoli. Topic: Economy. Topic: Commerce. The local merchant shipping community transports several locally grown products including mastic, olives, figs, wine, mandarins, and cherries. Cuisine Local specialities of the island include Cordelia Malathropita Sfugato Mamulia dessert, Masorakia dessert, Mastia drink, Soma drink. Topic: Antimony mines. Sporadically for some time at early 19th century to 1950s there was mining activity on the island at Karamo's antimony mines. Topic: Culture. Nea Moni is a monastery with fine mosaics from Constantine IX's reign and a World Heritage Site. An ancient inscription at Chios Archaeological Museum from a 5th century funerary monument for Hieropythos the son of Phileos, traced his family back over 14 generations to Kyprios at the 10th century BC, before there were any written records in Greece. Fortscastle of Chios, a Byzantine fort built in the 10th century. St. George's Church Museum's Chios Byzantine Museum. Archaeological Museum of Chios Traditions The town of Vrintados is home to a unique Easter celebration, where competing teams of locals gather at the town's two rival churches to fire tens of thousands of homemade rockets at the other church's bell tower while the Easter service is going on inside the churches, in what has become known as Ruketopolemos, Sports F. C. Lilapas, Chios Town, Media Kiakos Laos, Newspaper, Politis, Newspaper, Demokratiki, Newspaper. Topic. International relations Topic. Twin towns, sister cities 
Chaos is twinned with Bresno, Slovakia Dinant, Belgium Ermupoli, Greece Genoa, Italy since 1985 Gyeong, China Ortona, Italy Polycastro, Greece Topic. Notable natives and inhabitants A native of Chios is known in English as a Chian, or a Shoti. Topic. Ancient Homer 8th century BC, poet. See History of the Peloponnesian War, by Thucydides, section 3.104.5, wherein Thucydides quotes Homer's self-reference. A blind old man of Sio's rocky isle. Enopides c. 490 c. 420 BC, mathematician and geometer. Hippocrates of Chios c. 470 c. 410 BC, notable mathematician, geometer and astronomer. Theopompus of Chios 378 c. 320 BC, rhetorical historian. Erasistratus of Chios 304 to 250 BC, pioneering anatomist, royal physician and founder of the ancient medical school of Alexandria, who discovered the linking between organs through the systems of veins, arteries and nerves. Aristo of Chios c. 260 BC, Stoic philosopher. Claudia Metrodora c. 54 to 68 AD, public benefactor. Topic Medieval Saint Merkella, 14th century, martyr and saint of the Orthodox Church, Matrona of Chios, 15th century, before 1455, saint of the Orthodox Church, Andrea Bianco, 15th century, Genoese cartographer, resided on Chios. In 1982, Ruth Durlacher hypothesized that Chios was Christopher Columbus's birthplace. Columbus himself said he was from the Republic of Genoa, which included the island of Chios at the time. Columbus was friendly with a number of Chian Genoese families, referenced Chios in his writings and used the Greek language for some of his notes. Columbus remains a common surname on Chios. Other common Greek spellings are, Columbus and Columbus. Francisco Albo, 16th century, pilot of Magellan Expedition, the first circumnavigation of the Earth, Leo Alatius c. 1586–1669, Greek Catholic scholar and theologian <inaudible> Modern Silitz's family, descended from Byzantine times Mavrocordato's family Athanasios Parios (1722–1813), Greek hieromonk and notable theologian, philosopher, educator, and hymnographer of his time. Macarius of Corinth (1731–1805), Metropolitan Bishop of Corinth, mystic and spiritual theological writer. Nikephoros of Chios (ca. 1750–1821), Abbot of Nea Moni Monastery, theological writer and Orthodox saint. Alexandros Kontostavlos (1789–1865), politician. Ambrosios Skaramagas (1790–1864), merchant. Alexandros Georgios Paspatis (1814–1891), linguist, historian, and physician, researcher of the Romani language and of the history and culture of the Roma people. George Kalvokorosis (1816–1872), military officer. Mustafa Kaznadar (1817–1878) was Prime Minister of the Beylik of Tunis. Michel Emmanuel Rodokanachi (1821–1901), trader and banker of London. Andreas Singros (1830), banker, descended from Chios. Patriarch Constantine V of Constantinople (1833). Rally Brothers (18th–19th century), founders of major 19th-century trading enterprise. Ibrahim Edhem Pasha (1819–1893), Ottoman Grand Vizier. Namik Kemal (1840–1888), one of the principal founders of modern Turkish literature, served as a sub-prefect, exiled in practical terms, of Chios from 1886 to his death on the island in 1888. Osman Hamdi Bey (1842–1910), Ottoman painter, archaeologist. George I. 
Zalotas (1845–1906), local historian of the island and director of the High School of Chios, wrote a five-volume history of Chios in Greek language. Ioannis Sikaris (1854–1929), philologist, descended from Chios. Konstantinos Amantos (1874–1960), Byzantine scholar, professor at the University of Athens, member of the Athens Academy. Costa Vlastos (1883–1967), banker of the old Vlastos family. John D. Chandras (1890–1942), Greek shipowner. Stavros Lavanos (1891–1963), shipping magnate. Philip Pandeli Argenti (1891–1974), member of an old Chian noble family, greatest historian of the island, wrote more than a dozen historical portrayals of the island of Chios. Ioannis Despotopoulos (1903–1992), architect. Kostas Perikos (1905–1943), Greek resistance figure, leader of Pian. Kostas M. Lemos (1910–1995), Greek shipowner. Adamantios Lemos (1916–2006), actor. Anthony J. Angelicusis (1918–1989), Greek shipowner. Andreas Papandreou 1919 to 1996 politician prime minister of Greece Anthony J Chandras 1924 to 1984 Greek shipowner Mikis Theodorakis 1925 composer born on the island Yanni Christou 1926 to 1970 composer George P Lovanos 1926 to 1997 Greek shipowner Stamatios Krimigus (1938), NASA space scientist. Takis Fotopoulos (1940), political writer. Adamantios Vasilakis (1942), diplomat. Dimitris Veros (1949), author, poet, journalist. Demos Avdeliotis (1952), writer, film and theater director. Mark Palios 1952, of Chian descent, former professional footballer and former chief executive of the English Football Association Matthew Mirwans 1956, New York politician Nikos Pateras 1963, shipowner Agelaki Frangu 1965, shipowner John Sitaras 1972, fitness professional See also Chian wine Chian diaspora Topic References Topic Further reading Fanny Anarusi, Leonidas Milonides, The Campos of Chaos in its Heyday, Houses and Surroundings Translated from the Greek by Antonis Scotignotis, AIPO's series, No. 12. Akritas Publications, NEA Smyrni 1992, ISBN 960-7006-87-9. Carolambos T. H. Boris, Chios, Guides to Greece, No. 4. National Bank of Greece, Athens 1974. Carolambos T. H. Boris, Greek Traditional Architecture, Chios. Melissa, Athens 1984. Athena Zakara Lutrari, Vazo Pena, Tazula Mandala, Chios, History and Art. Translated from the Greek by Athena Dallas Damas. The Monuments of Chios. The Chios Prefecture, Chios 1989. OCLC 31423355. Hubert Pernet, N. Pays Turk, Lille de Chios, Dijon, Imprimerie Darentier, Rue Chabot Charna, 65. Avec 17 Melodies Populaires et 118 Similig Reviewers. J. Masonouve, Libraire Editor, Paris 1903. Online Arnold C. Smith, The Architecture of Chios, Subsidiary Buildings, Implements and Crafts. Edited by Philip Pandeli Argenti. Tissen, London 1962. Michaels G. Sankers, Alkis X. Xanthakes, Chios, Hecato Chronia Photographies, 1850-1950, Chios, 100 Years of Photographs, 1850-1950. Sinalo, Athens 1996, ISBN 960-85416-4-6.
Eleftherios Yolorus, The Archaeology and Early History of Chios, from the Neolithic period to the end of the 6th century BC. University of Oxford, Merton College, Dissertation, 1976. External links Official Chios website — operated by Chios Prefecture including Tourist Guide Sarantico Effie, Misalidu Anna, Banecki Eleni, Varlas Michael the 20th of April 2005. Chios. Cultural portal of the Aegean Archipelago. Foundation of the Hellenic World. Archived from the original on 7 August 2016. Retrieved 2 April 2013. History of Chios in Greek, in English Chios in ancient sources at atlas.org. Chios. Encyclopædia Britannica. 6 11th ed. 1911. pp. 236-237.